Hello, this is Fred from We Through Games here. Some powder. This is the start of Vision Dynasty's videos. Let's start by showing you the explorer. It's a Chinese. Dreaming. And with him is a disciple. Which is good against archers, skirmishes, and artillery. How the I'm having a little issue with sound, so what to do is I'm gonna turn it right off. So actually that's not wise. Anyway, I'm back. So villages as usual. Built your villages, etc. Uh, they have um, rickshaws instead of the, you know, the caravan things. So the market's being built. Now the first interesting thing about the Chinese is the fact they don't have houses, they have villages. Now villages support 20 population instead of 5 and it can be increased here with improvements. And um, this is the place that also fattens livestock and trains goats. So it has quite a lot to it. Okay, that's not important. So also the the economic advancements are cheaper than some most civilizations. Now the next thing that is noticeable about the Chinese is the fact that they don't have towers, they have castles. And the Asian dynasties have something called the consulate. Now I'm gonna build this building now and then I can explain what it is. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna make sure that these monks start making a move. So I'm gonna just hit that button there so it has improved population. Okay, there is oh yes. <laughs> All the treasures are different as well. Uh, the explorer now has active and passive abilities. Active being stunned temporarily disables the treasure guardian, and disable is like passive is like extra damage or defense. Bosh, kill that thing. Ouch, he's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, come on, disciple. It's all d oh, oh. one hit kill there. So the consular is choosing a foreign ally to team with by using a new resource called export. So I'm gonna be the British, 10% land unit hit points because settler training term isn't that important. Even though it does say defensive buildings, I'm not really going to go for turtling, so I'm going to go for the support units. So what it does is it loads, and the flag will come up of the place that you have allied with. Right, I now have 800 food, I can get to the next stage. So you have to choose a wonder in order to age up. Now every wonder has an active and passive ability. For this, I am probably going to get the porcelain tower because it generates resources. So I'm going to put the wonder uh, here. So I'm going to use this villager. No, I'm, I'm going to get some more villagers. I can get gold here. You can get more. The more villages, obviously, you put on it, the faster your age up. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment. So as we just wait for aging up, I can show you the new cards. Yep. So the Chinese have got something very distinctive in terms of their armies. 
Now, the Chinese builds villages that can garrison villages and train to fatten livestock, like I've said. Another bonus of the Chinese is that they can get siege earlier than other civilizations. And armies train in large groups in the barracks, which I will show you in a minute, called banner armies. So it's rather important. Okay, now they've aged up. Your civilization betrays your priorities. To win a war, you must focus on fighting, not advancing. That's Shogun Tokugawa's little speech there. Right, now, there's another banks, they call it a war academy. So I'm going to build it here, but then have the castle here. So I'll use one of these other villages to build the castle. And then I can show you the banner armies. So the first of the export things is uh, six red coats. Um, in H3 you can get an army of British red coats, musketeers and a falconet, so eight red coats and one falconet. And H4 you can get the British Expeditionary Army, which is six lifeguard and three falconets. I can get now two surgeons if I wanted, four spies, H4, five even. So the last stage I can get a large number of Rogers Rangers, which is skirmishes and falconets, which I've never been able to get. Um, let's build the monastery. So, as always, upgrade your resources. You must get fed up with me saying that, but it's the, one of the most important things. Okay. So, get these, um, these, uh, Chuku Nu, which is from Age of Empires 2, if you remember back, all those Age of Empires 2 players, that was the unique unit for the Chinese, that you now have it in this game, and they also have, and as you can see them there, walking, um, they also have Quang Pikeman. Moving on to the banner armies. Now these are the banner armies. This so there are six banner armies on offer in the War Academy. There is more in the in the castle, but the Chinese do not have a a, a stable as such. So they have the lighter infantry, which is the old hand army. Um second one would be the standard army, which is army of archers and cavalry with the killing infantry, three Chuku Nu and two step riders. And the other one that's available is the Ming army, which is two Quang Pikemen and three Keshit. Okay, I had a shipment of the castle. Okay. Suda. There, right now. The thing that you can get straight away is the flamethrower. It's a Chinese siege weapon that shoots fire at short range, as you could probably see. So, that's it for age two for the Chinese. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. So, they really want to say about age two. Let's put it on the same. I will come back in part two to show you which wonder to use to age up. Thank you for watching. And oh. rate and subscribe. Yes. There's the banner army number one. Yes.